restaurant fine dining restaurant actually that's run by the Marriott Marquis Hotel um, from what I read the reviews and the food are supposed to be awesome of course you have to make reservations for this um, but it looks like pretty nice nice dining maybe I'll try it out one day so it seems out here is a lot of restaurants um, different little statues little places to just look around and eat and then inside is all the shops different boutiques and different shops to go look at so we'll go check that out and then we're gonna go and find somewhere to have dinner okay so just like any other place in Thailand because of COVID things are a lot of things are closed down so in here there's a lot of you can see behind me like empty shops and there's a lot of them in here um i bought three shirts already i ain't been here but 10 minutes <laughs> but i'm gonna keep looking around and see what i can find and then i'm gonna have dinner um but it, it seems like it would be pretty nice i think that if this place was packed, like pre-COVID packed, it would be pretty nice. I, I mean, it's really nice now, but I can honestly tell you it's hot too because it's outdoors. So the Asia Teak Riverside uh, Mall is open from 11 a.m. till midnight, but the best time to come is after five o'clock. Um, of course, you have to fight through the Bangkok traffic. Took me forever to get here. So this area is called the Town Square. It's got a clock tower thing. And there are some shops down there. Okay. So I can tell you that the merchandise is pretty much the same stuff that you're gonna find at any market. Um, souvenir stuff, stuff that says Thailand, uh, touristy things. I don't think that this is somewhere where locals will come to purchase any items. This is, I mean, the prices are not bad, but it's, Touristy stuff. So, like I said, sadly, so many things are closed down. This is a crab boil restaurant. See the little fake uh, crab boil? And it's closed. I'm assuming, um, you know, because of the situation going on, it doesn't make sense for them to open. It's really not a lot of people here. 
And like I said, mostly everything here is geared towards tourists. I see nothing really original here. Um, not at all. If you want to come out for a nice evening on the water and maybe have dinner, it would be worth coming here, but don't plan to do any real shopping here because like I said, you can find everything at one of the other markets. Okay, they about to fight up underneath my table, y'all. They just come bolting over here, scared the shit out of me. I grabbed my fork, I was about to stab one of them. They've been like that for a minute. That cat will not let up on that other cat and that other cat is playing dead. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know what's going on. Look y'all, that's the girl cat and caught the boy cat cheating and she got him back in the corner and she like, you're not leaving until you tell me who she is. Pineapple frappe. That looks good because I know it's made with fresh pineapple. Oh, shoot the cats. Oh my god. I can't stand to see dogs in strollers. Like, what's wrong with their legs? They can't walk. But anyway, they have a lot of uh, river cruises here. Dinner cruises, some party boats um, on the river. Really nice. It's a beautiful ship. Okay guys, I couldn't really get much because a lot of the restaurants were playing music and for copyright reasons, you cannot have a lot of popular music. You can't, you know, play it. But how do you get here? So say you're staying on the other side of the river, you can go to Sapan Taksin uh, Pier and there's a free shuttle that will bring you over here. I don't know how often, um, or you can take a taxi, um, or grab, or however else you want to get here, drive yourself, but there is a free shuttle that'll bring you here and, and take you back to the other side of the river. Okay, y'all, I'm leaving. This was a nice um, evening, something different to do. I have been wanting to check it out. Um, as I said before, shopping wise, they have the same things that you would find at a market. Um, souvenirs and, you know, t-shirts to say Thailand and those elephant pants. But if you want to come and have dinner by the water, watch the boats go by, listen to some music, um, and ride that wheel thing that I would never get on um, seems like a good place to be and you can always um, get on the little boat the shuttle boat and go to the other side of the river and I think you can find a lot to do over there um, yeah so all in all it was a decent night I'm going to try to find a taxi I'm not gonna be doing all that walking and hopefully I can find one um, and get home because it, it's not close to my house it well in traffic it was probably about mm, 30 minutes maybe I don't know hey y'all okay so I made it home I'm tired I'm sticky and I want to go get in the shower. I am going to eat that other lamb chop though. I took one home. It was two of them. Um, it was imported from Australia and I've noticed that most of the beef says it's from Australia so and the lamb too. Um, and then when I think about it, I haven't seen any cows in Thailand. I've seen water buffalo, but I haven't seen any cows. So maybe they don't have any like, you know, moo moo cows. So... Anywho, 
I'm going to go ahead and eat that. It was, like I said, it was pretty good. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that don't forget to hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything they don't ask for no information if you're worried about all of that um but i would greatly appreciate it and i hope that you guys will be here for my next little excursion out in bangkok thailand or trying to plan something yeah so maybe i may not even be in bangkok thailand next time we will see um keep our fingers crossed. In the meantime, you guys keep moving. Bye and have a good night.